Hello and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. This week I'm going to be showing you how to change a regular receptacle to a GFCI. Here's a few of the tools that you're going to need for this week's project. A voltage tester, a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and I like to use a drill with a Phillips bit to make things a little quicker. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and cut off the power to the circuit you're working on. So you'll go back to your breaker box and turn off the breaker for that circuit. The next step is to test it and make sure that you don't have power to it. For this you're going to need to use a voltage tester. Stick the two prongs in here and there's no lights coming on here. That means that we have no power. All right, now we can begin to go ahead and take this off. The first step is to take the cover off, which is just one single screw right in the center here. It's a flathead screw. And once you take it off, it exposes your plug. The next step is to go ahead and take out the plug. So you're gonna have a Phillips bit on top, and one on bottom here. That's what's gonna hold this in. The next step is to disconnect all the wires connected to this one. So we're going to come over here and take these screws loose. They won't take, they won't come out all the way. Once you loosen it, it should pull right out. Same on the other side. And then you're going to have to disconnect your ground, which is the green screw on the bottom. These are normally wrapped around, so you're probably going to take your needle nose pliers and kind of pry them off. Alright, I have two main wires coming in this junction box, so I need to go ahead and separate these like I have here. This one here has a white, black, and a ground, and so does the top here. Now for our GFCI, you have a line and a load. You'll see it, it's written on the back of it here. The line is your hot wires is coming in. So you're going to, if you have just one wire coming in, then you're going to go ahead and hook it to the line side. But if you have two, that means this is going to feed another receptacle down the line. So you need to make sure that you put the side, the hot side on the line side and your other receptacle is going to be your load. Now if you don't know which side is your hot side, what you can do is go ahead and get the wire separated and you can turn your power back on, but be very careful here. You can get electrocuted. You need to take your voltmeter and test your wires. If you put them on here and no light comes on, then that means it's your load side. On the top here, as you can see, this light comes on. That means that part's the, the line side. That's where you need to hook that up to. Now you need to go make sure that you turn the power back off before you go any further. All right, now that you've determined which side is going to hook to the line and which side is going to hook to the load, you can go ahead and start hooking your wires up. I like to start with the ground. So what you're going to do is take this here, loosen up your green wire here, or your green nut here, and go ahead and feed in your two grounds. Now you're going to want to go ahead and tighten them down pretty good, but don't over tighten them. You don't want to mess up your wires. Get them snug. All right, our next step, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our line side. So what we're gonna do is take the top wires, which we've determined are the hot wires, and we're gonna hook them into our line side. You wanna make sure that you push the screw in, loosen it up all the way, and then push the screw in so it can go down all the way. And then you're gonna tighten it up. You're gonna do the same thing with the white. All right, now you're gonna do the same thing with your load side. This is the side that's gonna be your feeding your other receptacle. It's labeled on the back here which side the black or the 
hot wire and which side the white wire goes on. If your hot wire always goes on the brass side and your white wire always goes on the silver side. All right, now we're just gonna take these wires and push them back in here. Just like so. All right, now we're gonna put our screws in that hold the receptacle in the box. I like to get the top one about halfway and then start the bottom. You're going to go ahead and put these two flathead screws in to hold it in place. Alright, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and turn the power on. As you can see, it's got power. It's got a green light right here. That means this plug has power. You want to go ahead and test it by hitting the test button, and you can see the GFCIs went off. All you got to do is hit the reset button, and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this week's project. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any good ideas for other projects that you'd like to see, leave me a comment, and I'll get to it. Uh, consider supporting us on Patreon so we can do bigger and better projects. <music>